having had their game at home to Treviso postponed just before Christmas. Gregor Townsend's Glasgow came into this game, the oldest club fixture in world rugby, with fresh legs and the knowledge that they'd beaten Edinburgh in eight of their last nine meetings. The home side made just one change from the team that beat Leinster at Murrayfield previously, because Blau in at loose head for Alistair Dixon. Coach Alan Solomon said pre-match that Glasgow were favourites, but his side were in confident mood after that win over Leinster and away to Gloucester in Europe the week before that. Glasgow were on the front foot early on, and when Edinburgh were penalised in a central position, Duncan Weir got the first score of the game to make it 3-0 after just three minutes. Shortly after that, Greg Laidlaw levelled the scores with a penalty. And then on 12 minutes, the visitors were back in front. Ross Ford was penalised for not releasing. And Weir made it 6-3 to Glasgow with a well-executed effort. A bigger-than-normal crowd turned up at Murrayfield for this game. And the home supporters were on their feet in the 14th minute when winger Doogie Fife forced his way over the line for the first try of the game. Fife is in a rich vein of form at the moment. That was the 23-year-old's fourth try in as many Pro 12 games. And when Laidlaw converted, it was 10-6 in favour of Edinburgh. Just after midway through the first half, another weir penalty brought it back to a one-point game, 10-9. And in the 27th minute, Glasgow's Tyrone Holmes saw yellow for tackling the man without the ball. Edinburgh added to their lead when Laidlaw landed the penalty to leave it 13 points to 9. Then an example of the tensions that rise in a local derby match. Tom Brown wrestled Stuart Hogg towards the advertising hoarding and in a scene more reminiscent of WWF than Pro 12, the two participants went over the board only to be joined by players from both sides. When calm descended, referee Neil Patterson sent both players to the bin for 10 minutes. First go. OK, so for that, you're going to the bin. Go. For the retaliation, you're going to. Then just before the break, Laidlaw slotted another kick between the posts to give the home side a 16-9 lead at half-time. The visitors narrowed the gap once more in the 51st minute when Weir put his fourth penalty of the afternoon over to make it 16-12. And ten minutes later, when Edinburgh's Nick De Luca was whistled for offside, it was back to a one-point game. 16-15, when Weir was successful with the boot once again. A really excellent kick from close to halfway. Then 13 minutes from the end, a match-winning moment for the Warriors. Alex Dunbar, who recently signed a contract extension, found Van der Merwe, who cleverly kicked ahead, and Hogg won the race to get the touchdown for Glasgow's only try of the match, but one that put them into a 2016 lead. Weir failed with the conversion attempt, but the visitors had their noses in front with just over 10 minutes remaining. Unfortunately for the home side, they couldn't conjure a match-winning score, and Warriors had another win on the road to celebrate. With the sides due to meet in Glasgow on New Year's Day, a big crowd can be expected at Scotstown as Warriors have got back into the winning habit. Final score at Murrayfield, Edinburgh 16, Glasgow Warriors 20.